Hello, when my last video left off we were heading to Abernathy Farm and here it is. So Abernathy Farm basically gives you one shack but a massive building area. So I've planted lots and lots of trees, added a few more buildings, added a toilet, how oh, nice. The original shack I decided probably wasn't suitable for human habitation so I've turned it into a sort of storage room for farming equipment and guns. So I kind of like to think that this place is the armoury for the whole area. So you've got different sets of armour for people to wear. If you go up here, then you'll find more guns, turrets, and a lovely view. I do love all these trees. Let's head to the bar, which is wittily called our bar, Nathy. How clever. So this is where people passing through Abernathy Farm can stop off and relax and have a drink. Presumably the residents themselves can also do this. Oops, sorry for that little blip there. If we head upstairs, then we can find a nice little sleeping and living area. With a magnificent view. If you look out here, you can just about make out the rad stags in the distance. What else you've got? You've got a printing press, you know, in case someone wants to make a magazine while they're here or something. It's pretty simple, you know, bathroom, laundry facilities, beds. I imagine people would use the kitchen in here. I do want to show you what this building looked like before it used to be a museum then i figured i already had a museum down in sanctuary and you know we're just taking up space that could be used for other things there we go it's filled with curiosities and that was where the suits of armor were originally that was where the guns were too so yeah okay now let's take a little walk around the outskirts of abernathy i do like how you get the effect of being in a forest So I used the Place Anywhere mod in order to place all these trees. It's wonderful, but its capabilities only stretch so far. So I was going to do something with this shack, maybe make it into a guard post, but I couldn't in the end, so I just left it there. I like to think that like when you reach the edge of the trees at any settlement, it's like you've reached the edge of safety, and you can't go any further because there might be raiders out there. Yeah, this house looks quite a bit nicer on the inside, doesn't it? Looks like the Abernathy's have spared no expense in building their new home. Got a laundry room there. We go up here. And you reach a lovely spacious landing. Room number one. If you get down here, that's the bedroom of... The Abernathy mum and dad, and I can't remember their first names, I'm so sorry. And if you go down here, you'll find the bedroom of Lucy. And that photo is from the Photos of Remembrance mod. I don't know who it's actually of, but I like to think that that's of Mary. Poor dead Mary. And I'm just going to wander through this dude's field and go and see what that is over there. It is a random disused caravan thingy with a mattress that you can sleep on if you feel like getting a disease. If we wander through here, we can find Mary's grave. I can't remember if those flowers are in the game or if I put them on there myself. Here's a nice little detail that I didn't realise I'd done until I'd done it. If you go into Lucy's room, you can just about make out Mary's grave from her window. That's kind of sweet. Ah, mist is ascended on Abernathy Farm. Right, I think you've seen all you need to see of Abernathy Farm. So now, if we keep walking in this direction, we should come to Starlight Drive-In. So stay tuned, that will be my next video. Hi there, Red Stags.